Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So over and above rolling out updates for Windows 11 22H2 and 23H2 uh, as part of the Patch Tuesday updates for August 2024, which I posted on, and I'll leave that video linked down below and in the end screen. Microsoft has also rolled out an update for Windows 11 24H2 users with Copilot Plus PCs, because as we have been talking about Copilot Plus PCs, have already received the 24H2 annual update to some degree or the other. And the update um, is KB5041571, which rolled out late yesterday in my region as part of the Patch Tuesday updates on the 13th of August. And once the update has been applied, 24H2 will be bumped up to build 26100.1457. Now, the update addresses security issues for version 24H2. And for 24H2, we get 47 vulnerabilities that have been patched, which is slightly lower than Windows 10 and Windows 11, 22, and 23H2. And out of those 47 vulnerabilities, four are critical, which is your highest ranked vulnerability. So this is an important security update that is rolling out for Windows 11 version 24H2. Four critical 47 vulnerabilities have been patched in total. Now, over and above that, uh, the update also includes the improvements that were part of update KB5040529, which was released for Copilot Plus PCs with plenty of features and bug fixes, which I did post on, and um, which rolled out around about the end of July, beginning of August. And I posted a video on that, so I'll leave that linked down below and in the end screen if you'd like some more information. So go check that out. I'm not going to rehash that whole video for this video. And then over and above that, something else to take note of is that it also includes four fixes um, that have rolled out as part of the security update. And three of these have been made available for Windows 10 and Windows 11. So just to mention the first fix that's rolled out, um, the lock screen has received a fix where apparently the Use My Windows User Account checkbox was not available on the lock screen to connect to Wi-Fi, so that little niggly issue has been sorted out. And then there's a Net Join Legacy Account Reuse fix, which removes the registry key. And basically what you've got to know about that is basically there are tightening security pro protocols during domain joins. So that's really for admins and system administrators. And they've also... Um, fix the Secure Boot Advanced Targeting to prevent vulnerable Linux EFR from running. So basically what that means is that if you are dual booting with Linux, that's a fix that's taking place um, uh, under the hood. So that applies the SPAT to EFR. Um, basically, then that prevents vulnerabilities for Linux EFR from running. That's also rolled out for Windows 10 and Windows 11. And then one just applicable to Windows 11 24H2 is domain name system DNS, which the update hardens DNS server security to, to, to address CVE 20243796. And basically, um, if the configurations of your domains are not up to date, you might get the serve fail error or timeout. So that's addressing that issue. And then something else you've got to just take note of is that there's also a known issue for this update where um, Microsoft say they, they are aware of an issue where players on ARM devices are unable to download and play Roblox via the Microsoft Store on Windows. So the workaround basically until that fix rolls out is players on ARM devices can play Roblox by downloading the title directly from www.roblox.com. So that's a bit of a mouthful. And if you are running a Copilot Plus PC, that update 5041571 has rolled out as part of the Patch Tuesday security updates for August 2024. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.